What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about this single thing you should be offering all prospects to skyrocket your response rates. And if you're not already doing this, you're severely limiting yourself. Before we dive in, if you're someone that's stuck in your email copywriting business or you're trying to get a closing role or a setting role and you want hand-holding help to get you to the finish line, to start actually finally making money online, I recommend you book a free call below with me or one of my team members and on that call we'll simply point you in the right direction and then also see if our flagship program would be a good fit for you. We do not hard sell on these calls like a lot of the people in this space. They completely hard sell the person, strong arming them into their program. We don't do that at all. The last thing I want is someone in my programs that isn't 100% ready. So when you go to outreach for clients, you have to put yourself in the shoes of the prospect. What's in it for them? Everyone wants to make money on the internet these days. So the prospects are getting bombarded every single day from your competition. What sets you apart? And frankly, this is the question you should ask in everything you do in your business. At every single step, what sets you apart? Why are you better than everyone else? Because if you can't answer that question, you might as well not even try. If you don't see where your edge is, maybe you're a harder worker than other people. Maybe you know something that most people don't know. Maybe you have better outreach systems in place than everyone else. Whatever your edge is, you need to find it and you need to capitalize on it. So again, put yourself in their shoes. What are they going to get out of you? What's in it for them to even respond to you? Because once we get the response, we can then have a negotiation. If you aren't getting any responses to your outreach, you need to take a step back and look at your messaging. It's it's every stage you need to take a you need to pause and look at what's going wrong. For example, if you're not getting any email leads, you need to take a step back and look and see, okay, where do I get email leads? If you're sending a bunch of outreach and you're not getting any responses, you need to take a step back and see if your messaging is off. If you're getting on sales calls and you're not closing sales calls, you know how to get the sales call. Now you just need to fix how to close the deal. If you close the deal and you're not retaining the client, then you need to just figure out how to retain the client. It's just figuring out each piece along the way. You should not be worrying about writing the emails when you haven't even gotten any responses to your outreach yet or a systemized process. You may have gotten one lucky response but a systematic way to get responses to your outreach. Because when you get responses, again, you can just immediately start tailoring the experience to that prospect. Prospect A wants free samples, which we're about to get into. Prospect B wants a free trial. Prospect C doesn't really care about any of that and wants to hop on a call. Obviously, you're gonna tailor your responses to their responses based on what they said. But the number one thing you should be putting out there into your messaging is saying, hey, I would love to give you some samples. Now, what is the difference between samples and a free trial? Samples are a very simple offering that you can give to these prospects. They're not your client yet. They're not even close to being your client, but it's, it's a gift that you don't have to really get on a call for. Very simple, just a couple samples. A free trial is, I recommend no one to, to any free trial until they hop on a call with the prospect. Why? Because you might do a seven day, 14 day free trial. I don't recommend 14, but you, you could do 14. After seven emails, you, you both will, will be pretty much in the know if you're good to work with each other, but you need to hop on a call for free trials because you don't want to get to the end of that free trial, have written all these great emails, and they don't even have their front end figured out. They don't even have you know an email list. They're not even growing their email list. They don't even have, barely have an email list. And they're a new entrepreneur and they don't have their shit figured out. And so they're thinking they should focus on emails and they should be focusing on front end top of funnel activities. Email is more of a secondary income flow usually. So the first thing you should be doing is offering free samples, but you shouldn't just say, I want to give you some free samples because one, you're already ahead of the game by offering free samples. That's even better than a portfolio because with portfolio, they have to go look at it, see if it'll be good for them. With a sample, it's customized to that prospect. But remember, it's not the same thing as a free trial. So you need to offer samples, but you need to specify what kind of samples you're gonna give them. They're gonna be customized to the prospect. You're gonna tell them that. And also, 
that the samples you're gonna be providing will crush it for them. And you can say something along the lines of, these specific types of samples have made my other clients this amount of money. If you don't have any clients, you can say something along the lines, these type of samples have been proven to sell 1K to 10K worth of products. Because the emails you're gonna write for them have already done that. If you're writing any sort of marketing email, they really have sold that kind of product before, or at least moved the prospect along the, the way to buy that product. You just gotta get creative with how you word it. Because at the end of the day, I don't care who you are. If you're a badass copywriter, or if you're a schmuck, you can go spy on your competitors, see what they're sending, and know exactly what to send. Because you can smell a good email. You can smell it a mile away. If you read an email and you're just clicking with it, you know someone's buying from it. So again, you need to offer free samples. That's the main part of this video I wanted to drive home is offering free samples, but make sure you let them know what kind of free samples that you're gonna get. They're gonna get customized to their brand and these emails will make them a lot of money. At the very least you say that, they will make them a lot of money. You don't even have to show the proof. You can just say based on past experience or based on the market, these emails will crush it for you and they will. If you're a halfway decent writer, the goal of the copywriter is not to sell the product. The goal of the copywriter is to make the fucking next step. That's it. Now you can have, you will write emails from time to time that will straight up sell the product. But a lot of the times you're just trying to get them to take the next step, to book a call, to reply, to go to a landing page that will sell them because it has a VSL on it. So remember, always ask yourself in anything you do in business, what's in it? for the person receiving your message. Everyone else that's competing with you, the majority of people are dumb. Like they don't have a clue what they're doing. And it's funny when I hear people all the time telling me, it's too saturated. It's the same thing in any business. Every single business you get into is going to be saturated. It's just about you carving out your piece of the pie. And if you can't do that, if you can't look for places and opportunities, to come in and innovate as well as lower prices because ultimately that's what the, the market wants is the lowest price possible as well as the most innovative product. If you can't you know, do that, you're not really an entrepreneur. You might as well go back and, get in, and keep working at your job. Again, if you're someone that's stuck in your business and you want hand-holding to get you to the finish line, finally start making money online, learning the exact things that worked for me to get me the hell out of my job, book that free call below so we can chat and see if we can help you.